What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ink, and today I just kind of want to talk about what guns could be making their way into Polygon, like I'm not, like I'm not going to say these guns are going to be in Polygon, but it's definitely something, some guns that would fit in Polygon, that actually would be cool to have, that actually would do something for the game and bring more variety. Uh, as I said, it's not something that's 100% that's going to get, in, like, put in the game, uh, it, um, it's not something that the developer said or any updates, it's just like what guns I would like to see in the game, what guns could fit into the game. Uh, so first off, let's start off with the UMP, the UMP is an SMG, it shoots really really slow, but it's really really accurate and it should have some decent range as well, so it might be like one of those UMPs or one of the SMGs that has more range than the other SMGs. Uh, imagine having this with like 30 mag and it would just be absolutely a laser at long ranges or at close ranges. Uh, with a decent hip fire, uh, as well as it's accurate, it would be a good hip fire, so you can just hip fire heads with it. That'd be pretty cool. It would bring like a whole new playstyle for some people. Uh, the other thing is something that the other gun is something that I would really like to see in the game, and that's the Chris Vector, or more known as the Vector. Uh, this gun is absolutely insane in the most other games that I played it. Like you could have a drum mag on it, and it's like 50 rounds. Like imagine if you were to get this gun to start off with with 50 mags until we get weapon customization. Uh, it would be like raining havoc on people because it has a high fire rate it might have a bad hip fire But like imagine the fire rate and just spraying down the halls of Metro with it uh, It would be a really really cool gun uh, I hope really we get like a desert camo on it or like a tan camo without cap like that's the, de the default camo on it That'd be really really cool uh, The most requested gun that I see a lot of people are Asking about getting into the game like they want to be put in the game all the time in discord is the mp5 uh, it would be really cool if you would get this gun with a suppressor to begin with and when we get the customization for weapons, uh, the guns would, uh, we could like take off the suppressor, but imagine if it came with a suppressor, we would have one more suppressed gun in the game. Uh, and it would be like a laser, it, it would be like a close to mid range weapon as well, like it would be decent at long ranges and really good at medium ranges and uh, good at uh, close quarter really really fun and these two other smgs that i've listed here uh would just be fun because you wouldn't be able to do like say you wouldn't be able to put any attachments on them but they would just be really good guns in general and they'd be really fun to use would be the thompson or the tummy gun uh, this gun would absolutely be insane to have in the game, the game. like imagine if it was actually a achievement you had to grind for to get this gun uh, as it is a World War II weapon, uh, I, I would just like to see something other than just modern weapons in the game. Uh, it would actually make a whole, whole lot of variety in the game and another flavor to the guns. As well with adding the MP40, um, this gun is just like every game I use this gun in, it's just really really fun. I, I hope it's the same as I said with the Thompson, that you would have to unlock this gun. Like say you would have to get 1000 headshots with any SMG. Uh, and you would unlock one of these guns. Uh, it would be really, really cool though, because it would make a value to these guns compared to the other guns. Like, it would be, yeah, look, I got the MP40 since I have the achievement for 1k headshots uh, with any SMG. Uh, that would be really, really cool. Uh, let me guys know what you guys think about that. Uh, I really hope like something like that gets implemented soon, like a cam or a gun you have to unlock by doing achievements. Uh, moving on to shotguns, this Bass 12, everybody, like we need shotguns in this game, it would be so funny, uh, just with how the movement is and how the gunplay is, I think it would be absolutely hilarious, um, as long as they get implemented in a good way, like this Bass 12 would be really fun to use, um, give it like a little bit more range than the other shotguns, because it is, it just feels like a gun that should have it, um, then we have like a double barrel, I would like to see that one in the game, as, uh, you, like imagine I would have to get, uh, 1000 hip fire kills with uh, any shotgun and you would unlock this same with like the Thompson mp40 like I would just like to see something in the game like that because it would actually give the grind momentum a lot more uh, Imagine like this gun just one shotting everything in close quarters like it would never get a hit marker It would just one shot everything like you could even like you couldn't aim in with it So when you press your right mouse button it would shoot both uh, both rounds or something uh, would be really really fun and imagine if you can have like a flame rounds attached to it as well when we get like weapon customization the AA-12, uh, it's a semi-automatic shotgun, uh, if this one shoots faster than Spaz-12, it should have a little bit less damage, but with less range as well, and bigger spread, it would be funny to see, um, yeah, these three shotguns would be a huge addition to the game. As well, when it comes to assault rifles, we have a lot of assault rifles in the game right now, but I think they're missing a few assault rifles that would actually bring something to the game, that would be the M4, um, I think we should get this one suppressed, to begin with. 
uh, where we have like a suppressed assault rifle. Um, be really, really cool. Uh, just the M4 in general is just a cool weapon. We already have the M16, but this one could actually bring a little bit more flavor to the game. Um, moving on to the other one is the ACR. We need an ACR in this game, I think. It would just absolutely bring the game to a whole nother level. Um, this gun should actually be like really hard to earn, like it should be really expensive uh, because it just feels like a gun that would actually be really fun to use and actually be a high demanding gun, like everybody wants this gun when they see it because of like Modern Warfare and so on, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, then we have the SA-80, this is a British assault rifle, uh, this is like where we're getting into more exotic rifles if that makes sense, like most common in shooter games you have like the M4, M16, ACR, but like you don't see the SA-80 a lot, it would be really fun seeing this gun, imagine if we get it like as a with bipod on it to begin with, uh, I don't know, it could be really fun to see. Um, then we have the AA, I can't even pronounce it, AA, uh, this is a AK version of a gun. Uh, I remember this from Bad Company, it has a really high rate of fire. Um, I think it would be fun because you would have a assault rifle that's really meant for close range and mid range instead of long range. Uh, so this would be really really cool to see. And then we have like, let's say if we call this like a honor weapon or I don't know, like just have a name for these weapons. We have the Galil, it would be really fun to make this one like as a weapon you have to grind for. Like you could buy it but you would have to get like headshots but at like any assault rifle or something. Um, the Galil is just definitely one of my favorite uh, assault rifles in any game. I just like the look of it. It slaps like just the way you reload it in most games. I uh, absolutely adore it. Um, when we have the sniper rifles, you have the AVP um, from Counter-Strike, like I don't remember what the other name for it is, like you have the AVM, AVP and then you have L8A1 or something like that. Um, but this gun would absolutely be cool to see, like imagine if it did 94 damage, so like you just pop them once with your pistol, um, but it would be like really slow and it would only have like 3 rounds in the max or something. Um, this gun just it just looks cool in any game I've seen it. Like it, it just has that blocky feel. Like it has smooth edges or like really sharp edges and so on. And how you pull back the pin and everything is just I I just love this gun. It's just definitely my favorite sniper rifle in any game. I'm not a sniper by the way in any game I play. Uh, but this gun would just definitely make me want to play with it. Like it would probably be one of the first guns I would unlock if we got all of these guns. Moving on, we have the Ghoul Magnum. Uh, this is like a 50 cal bolt action, I think. It's close to that at least. Uh, I hope this would actually be a one shot rifle, but it would like really, really slow to run around with and slow to zoom in and so on. Um, I just hope like we get something like that soon, because I don't know, it would make the game a little bit more campy, I know, but it would also make the game a little bit more. It would be cool playing competitive and having a like, player with using this gun and holding like a flag from behind or something and holding like the rotations and so on with this gun. I don't know, it would be really really cool to see these two snap rifles making it into the game. We only have one snap rifle at the moment, uh, so yeah, I hope we get some of these guns in the game. This is just like the guns I would like to see, it's not something that the developer has said or anything, it's not like this has been confirmed or anything or even leaked for that matter. Uh, but it's like, it's fun speculating what guns could come into the game and sh maybe should be implemented in the game based on what players want. I know we have a few guns that already been announced that we're getting soon, um, hopefully soon. Uh, so yeah, this is just what I would like to see in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, if there's any guns you guys would like to see and I missed, please leave a like in, or leave a comment in the uh, comment section and I can actually try and find a model of it, like how it would look in a Polygon-esque game. Um, and talk about it maybe I don't know there's a lot of stuff to do so <laughs> a lot of stuff to cover uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please do leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye bye take care